Hey guys, this is Peter, and today I have something pretty exciting for you. For the longest time, people have been asking me about VPN solutions for the Fire Stick, and it was tough to find one. But guess what? We found one. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to show you how to install it and uh, how to make it all work. You know, this company seems so fantastic to work with. They uh, not only can you install it on your Mac and your PC and your iOS and your Fire Stick, but you can install it on multiples. In fact, they'll let you run five concurrently with the same login. That is perfect. That is really neat. That's the kind of flexibility that I wanted. So uh, let me just explain quickly what a VPN is. A VPN is a virtual private network, and what it does is it takes your IP address, and that's the numbers that you identify your computer uniquely, and um, uh, that's where how data is sent to you is because it's sent to your IP address. Well, the problem is a lot of internet service providers believe that your data, what you're accessing and where you're accessing is their property. So by encrypting it and creating an IP tunnel, they can't see where you're going on the web. Your data remains yours and there is the internet privacy. The other reason for running a VPN is uh, geo spoofing to make it appear that you're from somewhere else in the world. Sometimes if you want to watch the news in Germany, it may say you uh, sorry, you're from outside the country. Well, you can make it appear that you're from Germany and then you're able to watch what you want. Uh, is the speed good? The speed is outstanding. So I'm going to show you that as well. Neat solution. Check a look at this. I definitely think it's neat. Let me just show you what I mean by VPN. All right, here I am. This is my IP address. And as you can see, it's an IP6 version. It's big and nasty and unhuman readable. But uh, let's go ahead and VPN to somewhere else. Here, uh, I'm going to change it to the UK. And I'm going to pick London. And I'm going to pick, well, we'll just leave it at best server. Let's teleport to London. Off we go. So what it's going to do is give me an IP address in London and allow me to create an IP tunnel. All of the data that I access is going to, there we are, we're connected to United Kingdom in London. So let me just refresh this page by hitting enter. You should see the map change and the IP address. Now, oh, I'm on the outside of London, <laughs> but hey, Still the London proper, I suppose, or London area. Um, Hillington or Hillingdon. Uxbridge. All right. I don't even know what this is, but I'm obviously inside the UK now, and uh, that's all I was looking for. So mission accomplished. Now, what's the speed like? Great question. Let's do an internet speed test. Look at that. The map's changed. <laughs> That's great. Oh, and look, the advertisements. They say BT on them, and, uh, well, something's being offered to us for 100 pounds. It's funny. It's English, and I'm, <laughs> I'm saying something. Uh, well, obviously, it's a sale of some kind, and it's 30% off a credit card? What are you offering me here? Anyway, let's do the test. So normally I get a reasonably low ping, but then I'm capped at 28. I pay for 25 megabit service, but I can usually do slightly better than that, 28 or so. So obviously I'm waiting in a queue of some kind. I usually only get six up. So we're looking for 28, six, but that was unencrypted. So, and with a low ping. Yeah, this ping is gonna be a little bit higher not horrible whoa hey i'm up above 20 i am thrilled in fact this is encrypted data and i'm still at 28 that is insane it's probably because it's the middle of the night but no look how steady that is rock solid unwavering now if i can get my six up or even close to it i'll take five give me some up speed i'm really happy that's really good that's four, four, eight, four, seven, four, nine, five, five, a little bit of five. Whoa, there we go. Hey, the zero, almost zero overhead on that encryption. This is fantastic and rock solid results. So look at that. Streaming a movie is not going to be difficult at all. 
Here we can do that. We can return home. It's that hard. Back to home, back to earth. <laughs> All right. I know I'm going to get some flack for that one. Uh, let's see. There we are in the UK. I'm going to hit F5 or just enter. There we are. Back in California. I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit enter. Back in California as well. All right. Now I'm going to do this test unencrypted data all being logged by my ISP internet service provider boom nice ping close to 30 wow it is the middle of the night but hey look at that whether I'm at home or whoa 30 <laughs> whether I'm at home or in the UK uh, I'm still getting excellent speeds and good enough to stream with so I like the security I like the fact that uh, uh, my data remains mine Look, I can't even get six <laughs> when it's right down the street. Literally down the street. Anyway, guys, uh, I, let's go over to my PC or to my Fire Stick on my TV, and I'll show you how you can download this for the Fire Stick. Hey, guys, this is Peter. I'm back on my PC again because I found out the easiest way to, uh, to get this APK is actually on your PC and then we're gonna bridge over using a program we download and uh, just place it right on the device itself it's a neat way to install things it's a, the easiest way I know to sideload something take a look at this here's all we're gonna do open up a new page I'm gonna paste in the link that I'm gonna give you down below there it is it's saying it would like to save this APK to a folder you, you can see I've done it before there it is Boop there that's all it took it's just like 19 megabytes that's nothing so what I'm gonna do now is go over to my uh, fire stick launch a program called well I'll show you how to install it it's called file commander and actually you can bridge to your PC so let's go do it all right guys here I am on my fire up uh, well, this is actually a fire TV I've already done it on my fire stick it works wonderfully so uh, here's the easiest way to get it over here so you download, whoa, you download this program, File Commander. If you don't have it, you can just push the microphone and say, Application File Commander. There it is. And you just click and install that. Now, if you don't have a microphone on your remote, that's OK. Just go up to the top and hit Search. And what we want to do is type in File Commander. But the way that... Uh, Amazon works now is oftentimes it will look up movies first and give them priority put everything else in other spaces file commander this is painful because uh, it doesn't have it <laughs> alright so down here I'm gonna go up to where it says movies and I'm gonna scoot over to apps there it is alright see how I did that all you have to do is click now I already have it installed so all it's doing is running it saying do I want to sign with Facebook I don't think so skip down to the bottom where it says well I guess it's the middle of the bottom before that little dividing line it says PC file transfer when you click that now it starts you can click start service and it gives you a URL uh, a, a local IP address now you need to go to your other machine, your PC, and attach to this. Uh, make sure your other PC isn't running a VPN because otherwise you guys are not going to be on the same network. So 192.168 is for private network stuff. You need to be on the same network. Okay. See you at the PC. All right. Well, I'm back on my desktop and uh, I'm here going to type in that URL that we see on my screen. Our HTTP. Yours is going to be different, so make sure you type the one you see on your screen. Mine is 102, and there's a port address because we're going to actually tunnel through the device itself and run an application that's or find an app. There it is. The application file commander has made a web page, and here it is, and it's allowing me to access its internal storage. This is pretty cool. This is as James Bond as a lot of people get. <laughs> All right, so I have some stuff in there already, but uh, 
what I'm going to do is open up a snap it to the side over there that's fine I'm going to open it up a little bit and I'm going to uh, shift click and open up another page here I'm going to go to my desktop and I have a download folder called new new folder 4 there it is okay you got to remember where you put it so here is the uh, the application the APK that I downloaded I just downloaded this one with the 2 on it cuz I downloaded it so many times I'm just going to drag it over here Boop. there it is it's saying do you want to upload this now the tricky part is wait till it says 100% and then fully releases you all right there we go now we're released now we can cut the cord so I'm gonna go back to the PC I'm gonna push the button that says stop this service I can leave it open here on the PC side that's okay so I'll see you over at the TV all right well I'm back here at my t TV I'm gonna stop this service there we go so we're done with that program all right, so here I am over on the left-hand side. I go down to about favorites or so and scoot over. Now I'm highlighting documents, pictures, music. I want downloads. Now I'm going to navigate down to the IP Vanish that I just moved over. There it is. I'm going to click on that. And it's saying, do I want to install it? Fantastic. Move down to the bottom, highlight the word install, hit enter. This takes a moment. This ran really well on my Fire Stick. I did it on my Fire Stick as well. That was the new Fire Stick. Um, I've also done it on my uh, Fire TV right now, is what you're seeing. So I'm going to go down here to Open. All right, it wants my username and password. And I'm going to use the same username and password that I use for all my other accounts. And for me, it's, well, yours is going to be different. more than one there we go all right begin tutorial that's a great place to start but for right now I'm gonna skip it I'll give you a quick tutorial so it's saying right now the service is disconnected and you can page down and where it says country you could actually pick a country of choice let's see France Italy Mexico I'm partial to the United Kingdom. We'll pick the United Kingdom. Uh, a lot of my viewers are from the United Kingdom. I'm going to pick an actual city. I'm going to pick um, London. And I could actually pick a server. You can see that they have a number of servers and you can see different pings. That is pretty cool. Um, backing out. I'm going to say just pick the best one. So here we go. I'm going to hit connect. All right, it's saying it wants another piece of software on there. That's right, I forgot about that. Go ahead. So now it's going to pick a, there we go, I'm connected. I'm in the United Kingdom, and so is my computer. So as, as far as anyone's concerned, my IP address is from there. Everything being sent from that server in the United Kingdom to my, uh, to my computer is fully encrypted and decrypted over here. So now my ISP is not really aware of what I'm doing. Um, and this company keeps no logs. So that's kind of nice. Here we go. I'm back on Kodi. I can click Exodus. Well, I even have a fa more favorite program. CCloud. CCloud is like live TV running all the time, 24-7. And yeah, I often watch Bob's Burgers. <laughs> it's a great show if you haven't seen it. And the picture looks phenomenal. All right, so guys, that's it. There you have it. You have a uh, VPN running quite well. And it's not only for your Fire Stick, but it's for all of your PCs in your home. So you can load, well, assuming you have less than five at a time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and um, take a look at my links down below and we'll talk to you soon. Hang on, Whew. I'm glad you're still here. <laughs> I forgot to tell you the most important part. I have a coupon code to save you some even more money off of this. 
So I do want to point out they do have a seven day money back guarantee. But what you want to do to get this is click start now. And here's the offer. It's how much it is per month. I do have a coupon code to make this 20% cheaper. So let me show you that. How to set up TV. All right, there we go. It says it already exists. That's because I already have an account. But uh, I use PayPal. I'm a big PayPal fan. I hear this coupon code will also work whether you pay any other way. But here's the promotional code. Type in wait. I don't know how long this will last, but it's working right now. Enter. Click. All right, watch. There it is. We just saved 20%. It went from 77 to 62. All the numbers went down. But as an added incentive to go for the one year, anything you buy with this 20% code, you're going to get for the first three billing cycles. So I called him and said, are you sure about that? So if I buy the one year plan, I lock it in for three years. They confirmed that is indeed the offer. So I like that a lot. Uh, so there we are. That's all we're paying now. And we have actually locked in that uh, price for three years. So make sure you like it. Use the seven days and uh, check it out. This is worth doing, guys. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. I totally appreciate it. Click like so other people can find it and have a good one. Talk to you soon.